Hey y'all, Steve here. Have you heard of Panoramio.com? Panoramio.com is a site that I use. I upload a lot of photos that I take to Panoramio. It's a site that is owned and operated by Google and it is also a site that where your pictures can be selected for Google Maps and Google Earth and they are selected by Google. Okay, up here in the top left you'll see Panoramio and Google Maps. They are all tied in together. Let's click Panoramio. Now you see some a big photo here and this is basically their info page. It's where you will go uh, at Panoramio.com and it'll start to give you an idea of what the site's about and it will allow you to share photos and explore the world in photos. I like the site. I've been a member of it for a long time and many of the photos that I have uploaded to Panoramio have been selected by Google uh, to be on Google Maps and Google Earth. So right up here at the top you'll see my current stats. I have 50 photos uploaded. 30 of those have been placed on Google Maps and my photos have seen been seen a total of 5,161 times. And here's the little uh, uh, little profile I wrote about myself. YouTuber, blogger, and extremely amateur photographer. But here's just a few of my photos here. And I want to show you one thing. When you upload a photo and you check it a few days later, at the bottom left, if you see this little blue and white, kind of a star-looking cross looking emblem inside the blue circle that means that your photo has been selected for Google Maps and Google Earth and if you look over here to this photo you will not see that same exact emblem this photo although it's a pretty decent photo it hasn't been selected for Google Earth there's a reason for that Google Earth will not place statues they will not place signs if you look down here, uh, here's a picnic table. Had no value to Google Earth. A uh, outside grill, no value. A rock right here, no value. However, look at this photo of this picnic area. It had value and it was selected. Down here on the right, here's another one. Wilderness camping area. That is a sign. Google Earth will not select. Uh, photos like that to be on Google Earth. So just be aware of that. But what I wanted to do today, up here at the top, I was going to go ahead and connect my Google Plus account to Panoramio. So I figured while I was doing that, let's go ahead and uh, let's just do a video on it and see what happens. So I'm going to connect my Google Plus account to Panoramio and let's get started. Let's see what happens. I click the connect and it says connect your Google Plus account to Panoramio. So there I am. So it's basically a simple process. And what it's going to do is going to make it easier for me to share my photos from Panoramio to Google Plus. So let's hit the connect now. Okay. I am now officially connected. Okay, now that I am officially connected between Panoramio and my Google Plus account, let's see how this works. I'm going to go over here. Here's a photo that I just uploaded today, so I'm going to click it. It's going to open up. It's the Brunswick Nature Park kayak launch. And as you see right under the photo, they have a G Plus One um, social media button there. You can also connect your Twitter or email it. So since I just connected it on Google Plus, let's see what happens when I click the uh, plus one. It says publicly recommend this as Steve Sharon. So I'm going to click it. And there it is. It's opening up the exact same way that um, the exact same way that you would if you were on your Google Plus page and you were posting something. So I like that. That's very good. So I am just going to write test right here and see if it launches on my Google Plus page. 
And can we make this? Da -da 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 yeah, let's just go ahead and make it public. And let's share. Okay, now that I have shared this photo, let's go to my Google Plus page and see how it appears there. So I'm going to open up Google Plus and let me refresh this page. I'm going to scroll down to see if I see exactly where I shared it. I may have to go to my own profile page to see it. It's not showing up in this feed. So, all right, let's go to my profile page and see if we see it there. And there it is, right here in the middle, test, and there is the Panoramio photo of Brunswick Nature Park. Now, one thing that I don't understand, uh, I'm doing this live right now, so this is the first time. Right here, I don't really understand why that particular photo did not show right there. This, uh, this is not very appealing to me if someone were to link their panoramia photo and it showed up in my newsfeed just like that there's no indication of what the photo is I'm not going to have a lot of inclination to click on this link and go see it so right now uh, I think it's a, it makes it easier to share but until Google fixes this right here that photo of the kayak launch should be appearing and it's not so I gotta call this a fail a Google plus Panoramio fail right now until um, they fix that. So as of right now, if I were you, I wouldn't even connect your account until that's corrected. Okay, I hope this was helpful. I am Steve, and I will see you guys in the next video.